you know, years ago, if someone told you you had cancer, you would, oh my God, I'm going to die. And, and nowadays what happens is that there, the cancer treatment is becoming so good, so much research, so many new options available. You know, they used to say, well, we got a 50-50 chance if we give you this, that you will survive. Now they're saying it's 98%, 99%, you're gonna survive. It, it's amazing, you know, I mean, we're, we're lucky to be alive at this stage. Oh, so he is the American business executive. He came to me some years ago with the problem of urinary retention, carrying catheter, we call the super pubic dystostomy, which you have catheter from the lower tummy. He gave history that he went to USA for the treatment of uh, urinary problem from prostate. He couldn't pee. Then he, somehow he had problem with the catheter there, and the doctor could not uh, succeed in uh, doing operation. He still could not pee. And then I called my old friend. I'm coming back to Thailand. This is during COVID. Uh, it took me several months to get back here. <clears throat> so uh, I said to Donna, Donna, I need to see a really good urologist. Who can I go and see? Some doctor there who know me, he recommend to come to me because he know that I'm the one who use less invasive treatment. And that time he need the laser treatment for prostate. So I did laser to the prostate to allow him to pass urine. That time his PSA was normal. After treatment, he was able to pass urine and the catheter could be removed. So he's very happy. But later, we follow up his PSA, then we found that his PSA is rising. I, I was coming back to see him on a regular basis and he was checking my PSA that measures whether or not you have any elevated cancer risk in your prostate. And he said, Tom, your PSA score has gone way up and I would like to do an MRI. This was in April of this year. <clears throat> he said, I'd like to do an MRI because I want to make sure that you don't have cancer. I said, wow, I didn't think I had. I said, I don't feel bad. I don't have any symptoms. He said, I just want to check. So he did that and then um, he said, I, I see something there and I want, to, I want to do a PET scan and then I want to do a biopsy. And finally, we found that he had prostate cancer. Unfortunately, his cancer type is quite aggressive one. We call the Gleason score of prostate cancer. The top score is 10, and he got the 10, which is the most aggressive cancer. Prostate cancer is malignant tumor of the prostate, which is one of the most common in male normally is occur in the age over 50 years old. Incident of this prostate cancer around the world is roughly about 7.7 .7 per 100,000. The only proof is a genetic. For the activity, uh, there are a lot of study that still in controversy, like uh, whether you have too much sex or less sex can cause that or not. One of the factors is the genetic. If someone has an abnormal gene, that patient has more chance of developing prostate cancer. And also we found that in the family, if you have the father or grandfather had prostate cancer, you have more chance of having prostate cancer. I had a few other people that I had contacted in the medical community and I just said, hey, what do you guys think? And they said, well, you're, you're talking to Dr. Paibo and he's the best in Thailand. And I would do what he said. So I said, all right, great. That's all I needed to hear. He convinced me that uh, we had a problem, meaning I had a problem, 
uh, and that the form, I did have cancer. I had two lesions in my prostate and they were what he referred to as aggressive. And he said, you probably don't feel anything, but he said, we, sometime in the next two months, we need to go in and get it out. And then he went through, well, here are the choices. Here are the things that you can do. So he talked to me about a procedure I'd never heard of before called brachy therapy. Uh, and it's something that he and Dr. Young Yut are one, two of the few doctors in all of Thailand who know anything about this. High dose rate brachy therapy is a non-invasive procedure using small source of radiation to treat prostate cancer without doing major surgery. We put small needles into the prostate and it's very small needle, less than one millimeter. After insertion, we pull out the needle. There's no scar, whatever in the body, no pain. We use computer to computerize the dose according to the tumors. And then it gives very precise radiation to the tumor without harming the nearby vital organ, namely the rectum and the bladder. So after we discussing for option of treatment, whether to have operation or radiation, which is the two standard treatment of prostate cancer at the moment. But now we discuss about the new, newer, better technique that we call the Bakke therapy, which uh, you have much less invasive than the operation. Finally, he decided for the Bakke therapy. I wasn't worried because the problem with radiation therapy in the past was that it was, it was not very precise. You know, they would shoot the radiation into your body, but it could hurt other organs as well. It wouldn't just kill the cancer, it could also do damage to other organs. Now, what I'm describing to you is very precise, very targeted. So the, the risk of any other kind of uh, damage as a result of the therapy is very small. The high dose rate Bakey therapy is different from the low dose rate in that in the low dose rate, the patient will carry radioactive source in his body for the rest of his life. High dose rate Bakey therapy, immediately after the patient leaves the operation room, he has no radiation in his body. Zero. And the most important is no pain, no scar active sex, which is very important. They use uh, ultrasound and an MRI uh, to guide these probes directly into the lesion in the prostate. And they get the probes exactly in the right place and they turn them on for 10, 15, 20 seconds in different locations to kill the, the, the cancer, the lesion. As a patient, you are out, you don't feel anything. Uh, you wake up in the recovery room, you have no bleeding, there's no pain. Uh, it's just you're a little broggy <laughs> from the anesthetic, but other than that, uh, never any pain. He one of the uh, good patient, a very good outcome. Every time we we, we perform the Bakke therapy, which we have, we have done for him in four fraction, we call fraction. Each time is one fraction. Every time when we finish the procedure, the day after, he, he like a normal people. No pain, complaint, no health change, appetite normal, he can walk, and he went back home like a normal people. Oh, very, very satisfied. Yeah, everything is fine. He's very happy. And he said that he's very happy. Actually, there are many cases that the patients are very happy. Better. Uh, better than my expectation, and I'm done now. After I finished about two weeks ago, they said, you're free of cancer now. There isn't any cancer anywhere in your body. Oh, I feel great. I mean, <laughs> it, when someone tells you that, you think, yeah, well, that's pretty good news. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, most of my family is in the United States. I, I, a few here, but uh, most of them are 
in the United States and they're quite happy. You know, they, I, I, I did a Zoom call with them all so that they would know where I was and what I was doing. And I sent them pictures of me in the hospital <laughs> so they knew what room I was in. Uh, but I think they were, they've been generally very pleased and very happy to hear that I'm happy. So I think the big thing is about MedPark is that somehow or another in this hospital, there's a culture of wanting to listen to the patients, which is, I won't say it's unusual. I think the medical community has changed a lot in the last 20 or 30 years. Uh, but I find that uh, this, this place is, is a good model for patient care. Med Park Hospital, redefining healthcare.